Gideon's Bakehouse is a bakery located at Disney Springs. They define it as a unique dessert experience, and it really is an experience. They have long lines throughout the day, but trust me, they are worth the wait. Gideon's is primarily known for their cookies, but they're not your average cookie. They're half pound cookies. Gideon's has their standard menu. However, they do also have unique items that change from month to month. We recommend checking their website or visiting in person to find out what their new flavors are. Whenever I go to Gideon's, I always get an original chocolate chip cookie. You can't go wrong with an original. The chocolate chip cookie is packed inside and out with a variety of chocolates infused with different vanillas and has a texture that might almost trick you into thinking you're eating cookie dough. Sprinkled also with sea salt, this is, in my opinion, one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. The next cookie I got was their morning exclusive cookie. This cookie is only available in the mornings until they sell out, and they often do. For the month of March, it was the coffee cake cookie. This cookie is a buttery vanilla bean cookie filled with cinnamon strudel and topped with their homemade double baked butter cream. Crumbs. This particular cookie has more of a cake consistency than their original chocolate chip, but still very delicious. During this visit, I tried one of their cakes for the first time, and I'm glad that I did. I got the true red velvet cake, and it was so good. It was a moist red velvet cake with a cream cheese frosting. Gideon says that they double frost their cakes, and I see why they say that. There's plenty of frosting in between the cake. The cake is moist and is heavily labored with thick waves of cream cheese frosting. The cakes at Gideon's rotate daily. You never know what's going to be a Available. But with so many great flavors, you will always have a great option to choose from. Gideon's is also known for their cold brew coffees. They have flavors such as peanut butter, pumpkin chai, cookies and cream, and classic. At this visit, I decided to go with the cookies and cream. It was a delicious cold brew coffee. I didn't get a really strong cookies and cream flavor. However, it was a very good cup of coffee that was almost more like a dessert. I generally just drink black coffee, so this was a nice change of pace to have something sweet. I would get it again. Everything that I tried was some version of peanut butter, and they were all all amazing. I got the limited edition chocolate peanut butter cake and it was so good. I would even go as far as to say this was probably the best cake that I've ever had. The peanut butter was so smooth and creamy and incredibly rich. The flavors were bursting out of this cake. The chocolate also countered the peanut butter and trust me, it was incredible. The cookie that I tried was also a limited edition for March and it was the peanut butter chocolate swirl. It was really good, but honestly, I did not get the strong peanut butter taste from the cookie like I did in the cake. Overall, it was a good cookie, but if you want strong peanut butter, I would choose to go with the cake instead of the cookie. And then I tried their original peanut butter cold brew coffee, which they're actually known for. It's made with a really smooth oat milk cold brew. It was sweetened with maple syrup and it's vegan and gluten-free as well. Honestly, I had really high hopes for this coffee. I'm really picky when it comes to coffee and I don't drink it a lot and it was really delicious, but it was missing the peanut butter flavor. Like I did not even get hints of peanut butter for some reason. I'm not sure if possibly they mixed up my order and gave me a different coffee, but I seriously tasted no peanut butter at all. If they did get my order right and it was the peanut butter cold brew, then it definitely was not strong enough peanut butter flavor for me. Out of the three peanut butter items that I tried, the star was definitely the cake. I cannot say it enough. Get the cake if you ever see it on the menu. As we mentioned before, the lines to get into Gideon's Bakehouse are often very long, which just goes to prove how good they really are. If the lines get too long, you could be given a time to come back later in the day, or if the line is short enough, you can just stand and wait. If you're looking for something sweet in Disney Springs, we highly recommend that you try Gideon's Bakehouse. If you order a cookie or a piece of cake, they're big enough that you'll likely be taking some home for later as well. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Disney Springs travel and food content, and like this video if you enjoyed it.